All right, guys. Hey, I am Rhett with the Mix Club, and right now I'm doing a little short series on basically how to promote your band if you have one. And hey, look, there goes Lewis the Cat. Come here, Lewis. Say hi to everybody. Anyway, guys, that is Lewis. He runs a studio, and I got two more of them, and they are pains in the ass. But anyway, guys, so if you are looking to promote your band, this is some steps that I, looking back, have taken over basically 40 years of doing this. When you are trying to promote your band, okay, be honest with yourself. If your band is not very good, you're not going to have great crowds, okay? It's really, really super important that your band is really good, okay? So just take a step back and look at the group that you're with. Um, are you with a band that you are the best player in the band? And the rest of the guys are just kind of, yeah, okay. If that's the case, I would definitely be looking at how do I get in another group, okay? Don't necessarily, you know, just quit the band, but start looking for a better group of people to be with, okay? Because you need a good band if you're going to be out playing music to make a living and playing the bars, the venues, the fairs, and all this type of stuff. We're not talking about arenas here. That's later on. We'll discuss that, okay? But you still need to be good, okay? And if you are not at a level to where that, let's say you're not even out playing yet, okay? You're younger. Okay, I get it. What's some good things to do? Well, go to the music store in town. Try to go to the music store that uh, in your area that I, I would say, boy, if you have something that's not like Guitar Center, you know, like an old mom and pop store that's actually a pretty nice place, go there and, you know, maybe... Try to talk to the sales guy, even Guitar Center, wherever. Talk to the sales guy. Just a good place to go is talk to the guys that are given lessons. Okay, your guys that are given lessons usually probably play in a band. Okay, and that might be a way for you to bypass. If you're really good and you just haven't got your name out there yet, that might be a way for you to bypass getting in with a whole bunch of shitty bands. Okay, Um Part of the problem with that is um, if you are not old enough to actually be out in clubs, okay, that's an issue. Because back when I was a kid, holy shit, I live in a small town. It's only about 6,000 people, but I was 14 years old driving my dad's 1974 Olds 98 thing was as big as a barn out to the old tap to play bass guitar. Those days don't exist anymore. You would absolutely just get shit hammered, you know, if you were trying to do something like that. But like I said, if you're if you're really good, look in the mirror, honestly. Look in the mirror and judge yourself, okay? I mean, we all the first thing in anything in music, we all have to know what we're good at and we have to know where we're weak at something. Um or you know, we're shitting ourselves. Um, just a sidetrack on that. When I had a band and I was the acoustic player, okay? And I was a front man too. I was a singer, okay? But I also, along with being a live sound engineer, I would also go up if we were at a venue and they had a live front of house guy there and we didn't have to bring in our system. I would go to that guy and I'd say, hey, look, um, don't be featuring me too much. Keep me there as a pad. Okay. I had horse musicians behind me. They were just, they were phenomenal. Okay. So definitely know your weaknesses and your strength. Just look at it and, you know, admit to yourself, you know, I'm not that good yet. You know, just because you're kind of wasting your time if you can't come to that and say, you know, I need to practice more. But anyway, that's not about that. What this is about, that's what I would do. I would go to the music store and try to hit up the guys that do guitar lessons and say, you know, hey, man, I got a CD of me playing. I got a YouTube channel. Man, you guys got the internet for promoting stuff. Put that out and, you, you, you know, send him a link to it. And man, you never know. The, the music business used to work it's really tight little circle. We knew everybody, okay? It's still there. It's just shrinking a little bit, but get your name out, okay? 
Now, let's say that you are in a band and it's doing fairly well, but you just can't get those extra, extra pushes. Okay. So if you listen to my other video, you'll hear on what I said about, you know, going around and doing changing road signs and doing some of this stuff. Some other things to, to go on is like, what's your set list look like? Okay. When you kick off a show, I'm a firm believer that this show needs to be pretty tight. There doesn't need to be a lot of dead space in between your songs. You need to constantly be looking at that dance floor. That dance floor needs to be humping all night long. If you have songs that aren't making that dance floor work for you, now we're also looking at the, you. I'm kind of talking from a party band aspect, okay? So you definitely need to look at that dance floor. That's a good indication. If people aren't dancing, you need to look at that set list and kind of try to figure out what you're doing. Now, something that we also used to do, we learned songs in blocks of three, okay? And if I took this block of three out, I would bring another block that we had learned together in a block of three and sit it in, okay? It changed the show up a little bit and people wouldn't get, you know, that would come over and over to the shows. Um, and then if in there, there was just a super cool song, you know, that we didn't want to lose, we would adapt and would make changes to that and make that work. But ultimately, you have to have people there for the party. Okay. Um, for instance, a lot of the venues that we had huge crowds at, um, we played down in a town called Effingham, Illinois. And like the bands that we ran with was like Gretchen Wilson. Okay. And something that's really funny is if you all know who Gretchen is, um, I had slogans on my t-shirts before she even had her record that said, somebody gave me a big old hell yes and a yeehaw. Okay. And she comes out with that song. That's, that's what's, you know, in, in the lyrics, the reason I did that, I would yell at people. It's one thing I was always told that, man, don't ask people how they're doing because you're always going to have some drunk in the back of the bar going, how I, you know, okay, free bird. Okay. What I would do simply is I would just say, you know, I was extremely loud, extremely vocal, not like here, I'm more laid back, but I would be somebody give me a big old hell yes or a yeehaw. And I know now I'm country. Okay. But all my buddies, 90% of them are playing in rock bands that are doing the same thing we're doing, just different style of music. Okay, their music, like I said, once again, it draws from people that are drinking age to 100. Okay, so you have to look at your set. If you're doing nothing but extremely hard rock, okay, that makes it even harder. You can do it, but and you can still be a big draw. It's just a little harder, I think, than somebody that is a little more commercial somebody that might do something from like say stevie ray vaughn you know and then charlie daniels over to you know something uh you know some rock tune we did a little bit of everything but it was more classic you know that makes sense so whenever you're doing all this stuff just always be thinking about what is how commercial is it? Don't sell your soul out. But I mean, still, if you're wanting to pack the venues, it needs to be commercial because the more people get excited, the more people party, the more they drink, the more crowds you have. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't want to keep this video too long. So I'm going to do a few in it and hopefully a few videos and hopefully, you know, through all of this, it will help you guys figure out, you know, some ways to help promote yourself. The main thing I can also say is you guys have internet. Okay, that's something really good. Man, you know, get a website if you don't have one. They're not that expensive. That's something that you need. Um, I'll come up with some more ideas, which I have for doing these videos, because I really want to help you guys that are trying to do it and feeling that it's just so hard to make that push. The main thing that I want to impress here is that I could be wrong, but everything that I've done that's had any success with it the band was really good and very commercial, okay? And the guys on stage did not look like they were looking at their feet and just kind of strumming. It was a show. And I treated our show no different 
then a national act would come out with guns ablazing, smoke, fire, the whole nine yards. We had a huge production, okay? So if you don't have all that and you're just starting, right, it's still about the show. You still need to be playing like you're in front of 20,000 people, okay? Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some, you know, inspiration. Leave some comments below, man. I would love to hear because all I'm doing, guys, is trying to build this channel and actually give something that I think is missing on YouTube is an inside view that's real. It's honest. I'm not spending a ton of time on these videos editing them because at this point, hey, I'm not making enough money from it, but I really don't think it needs to be there. This is just you and I sitting here shooting the shit and me trying to tell you what worked for me. I don't have any reason to lie to you guys. You know, it's just basically take the time, look in the mirror, look at your music. And if you think you have it, Come back and watch these videos, but get out and do it. Just do a little more than the other guy, okay? And also one thing that helps, good or bad, you need people talking about you. So rather it's the fact that people said, oh my, man, did you see all the people there at the club? Or holy crap, man, did you see that fight out back? Whatever it is, when people are talking about you, it's good. All right. Hey, guys, man, I am Rhett with the Mix Club. Make sure and hit that stupid dingling bell. Subscribe and all that good stuff, man. I am Rhett with the Mix Club. Y'all be safe, man. See ya.